Yeah, I mean, he's really grown into one of his own, and it's going to be a read, but Jing's going to get the first shot and leading in numbers as well. Paper Rex not going to pick up the tempo, though, with the counter paint shows coming out. Slows them down, and now just leaving a lurk. They will reset to explore other parts of the map. Now rotating over to Mount, they would have control of the revolving door as well. This is huge. They get the heals off as well from Divine. So yeah, Mind Freak taking quite a bit of damage there in that exchange, but able to get him up a little bit. The door is open, and looks like Paper X is really highly considering a full-on C exec. Yeah, but despite the heals, of course, not all topped up just yet. Munchkin, can he get the nice shots in through? And the Poison Cloud comes up a Forsaken. He still somehow crouches through, continues moving forward, dodges the bullets. And now Texture, I mean, it's a 2v3. No real point of waiting for backup. He's got to dwindle the numbers, but he's been Checked out through that one way. Meteor now on the backup. And Paper X, they've taken their post plant positions three spread apart with crossfires all the way through. But a nice headshot from Meteor. Kicks things up. And before he catches the trip, he's got to get the second down to a 1v1. And Texture already wrapping around. Gen G will recover the pistol round. Trying to have a bit of a skirmish to control Rubber. It's going to be a late delay from Gen G. We've seen a lot of teams adjusting to this. It's going to be a high low from Karen as well, off of all the util masking the sound. And that is Rubble taken over. No weapons dropped on the side of Chen Chi just said upgrades coming through but Forsaken, we've seen him lurk through so early once again from Baby Door. It's gonna be a triple. Can he get yet another ace? He seems to do it every time here on Lotus. And now Chen Chi spread apart, having to fight solo on either side of the map while Paper Rex They'll be grouping up as three. They don't want to make the same mistakes. They want to make sure that they're there for trades. But Meteor has led them on a bit of a wild chase all the way around the site. Texture gets spotted by the cam. Looks like, I mean, Gen G, they may not have time to really activate anything here with the remaining timer of the spike. Texture able to upgrade the gun. Cannot win the duel against Divide, though. Uh, and it's just Meteor who doesn't actually have a weapon either, so he'll have to go for whatever damage he can get, trying to isolate the 1v1. Oh. He gets one. Oh, I thought he might be able to get two. Of course, the spike's still taken down. Gonna wait things out, spread the map. Ah, uh, tries to reposition on a timing there and something will get the peak. I mean, Munchkin recognizing that he didn't really have an exit. Want to get close to one side or the other, but he will be picked off. That forces Genji to reinforce your B site. And that's just going to leave something here as a distraction on the side of Paper X. They'll even open the door to make sure that backup does not arrive onto the C site. Meteor, can he hold on to this alone? But it's going to be a perfect paranoia. He's been surrounded. He's just trying to stay alive, but it's too many members. And now the flood of Gen G that used to be so perfect has been broken apart into just a couple drops. It's going to be a safe bet. Now Jin going all the way far back, perhaps way too far ahead of his team. No backup there. A rifle dropped for Gen G to pick up. This could be a bit danger. Paper X recognizing that. They'll start to push out. That was tough there for Jin. Couldn't quite get his aim under control. Maybe seeing a little bit of that rust on him. Gen G going to realign for this retake. Three going to pressure Forsaken here. They've got a crossfire set up. Yeah, it looks like Gen G. They just want to make sure that they're able to pick up a couple more weapons oh, before they go in. And look at that, a triple peak. High low crouch as well, but now it's back to a double from the side of Paper X. They're not letting this go yet. Mind Freak will spray down the remaining members. And Texture all alone with a Sheriff. But it's Charon here for backup. Munchkin as well opening the door. They actually get fired back upon. Mind Freak is just continuing the spree. So he takes one down, and that opens up a timing here for Paper X to enter the site. Meteor, can he hold on to it? No, the flash is too good. The paint shells will keep him tight. Up and the showstopper will make sure no one else from Gen G can approach oh, no. as Charon eventually gets taken down from the lurk of Forsaken as well. Forsaken didn't have his gun out and still Charon couldn't quite get him in time. So tricky to deal with. The showstopper comes out and Forsaken's already lurking on your back line. Ooh, the dig through the wall there by Texture. Not doing some damage, but there's just so much to get through and you don't have much space to work with. Lakia will still be able to fire back against Jing, but a lot of that timer has already run down. The spike ticking away. Down. They're still gonna go for it. Prowler on pressure for Texture to run in. Seemingly wanted to take advantage of that low health on the thing. And it's going to Texture, he lands just onto the tripwire. And at this point, Lakia, he doesn't have a way out either. Just trying to fight for his life, making sure that they do not chase. But that's been really powerful. Big hit. Trade. Oh, yeah. Meteor and oh, Terra. as well. Mind Freak trying to stabilize, but eventually goes down. And Paper Rex, do they choose to stay and fight? Forsaken wondering if the Prowler would spot him. It does eventually. But he's on duty now. He has to lead the forces as something's still sticking with the operator for the time being. Here. Both trying to open up the right side of the map. Targeting B site and rubble. 
Something's going to make a lot of noise, waiting for Forsaken to gain some intel in the middle of the map. And Gen G, they don't want to fall for this. They're trying to make sure they group up all the way in Defender's spawn and make sure they don't let Forsaken know of their whereabouts. Spike Plant, heard by Meteor. Going to enter onto Drop, and it looks like it's just going to pinch even with the Nightfall to make sure he does get tagged right at the end. Has no audio. A little bit of that decay as well. Still has the Blade Storm. Back pocket, lockdown gonna lockdown have to be invested. Well. I mean, Gen G, they really want to make sure that they don't get pinched from the flank as well. They are prepared for everything, and Lockyo with a snap on, but Jeez. something with a flick to answer back. And now the lockdown goes through, still not enough time though. The defuse already started, so some heroics from something, but a desperate round win for Gen G. Door, but something <laughs> is the guard. Can you get through him? Oh, no the barrel. No idea, Lakia still hidden right by it. They sniffed something, but not how close enough it was. And now the retake, Gen G, three members ready for the flood. Lakia just trying to draw a lot of aggro towards that baby door side, draw them out into the open. Mind Freak going for a bit of a Hail Mary with the from the shadows. Meteor going to stabilize the shot first, but now the pinch. Gen G, they hear his shots. It's going to be a peek out from Texture, oh, but he gets taken it. down. Mind Freak still going for it, half already done by Munchkin. The defuse, they just want to try to stick it, but the spam's coming through, it's ticking down. You have to stick it now, and he's pinpoint on for the headshot, and Dubai will clean it up. Anytime Gen G is weak on their buys, it's going to be Meteor who's targeted, oh. but you can't count this guy out with single shots. He'll take down two. It's going to be the Rays and Sky down something, also taking a big hit. And that will slow down Paper Rex. So Meteor, a bit of an adjustment there. Instead of waiting in the site, pushes out towards Mound to challenge them early. Allows his teammates to come for backup. And now B and Sight, uh, C Sight have been flooded. They will be found through the Neural Theft. And now they're going to change ideas. Saw too much pressure. Try to make it work on to B. Forsaken looking for the pick off the ping, but not quite able to find himself that kill. Plant going to be able to come down. Switch to the Vandal. Oh, with, with the, the classic. classic. Oh, it takes him down. That's a rifle upgrade. Now Forsaken's Lurk, are they ready for this? They have no Here idea. Forsaken, he'll just take the one kill. He's happy to buy time to try to bring home this round victory. Tries to flick up, but that's a tough one. Lakia will be able to find that kill. Mind Freak dodges, and he won't be able to connect to the second one. Munchkin picking another with the Sheriff. And it's going to be the thrifties of Gen G that return. I think Dash is ahead of Rubble, takes all this space, and he's ready for it as well. Sees the tag, sees Lakia getting hit right through the Toxic screen. No idea what hit him. And now two members of Gen G still on the A side, but a lot of risk. Tries to take the shot, but he's a little too late. Only hits the Trailblazer, and another swing out, but Texture, good for another. Oh, that's going to be the double blast pack. Completely draws the crosshair away, and Paper Rex. Seems to have good control of this A site once again. The reaction protocols from Paper X are so, so good. Nor any of the amazing Fire ultimates Fire. on the side of Gen G. Nightfall gets used. Two members will dash out, but something gets ahead of it. Doesn't need audio when he's up in the air, and it's going to be the showstopper trying to keep the rest of Paper X at bay. But Jing jumping forward gets a lot more kills, and now just Meteor left alive. Picks up the operator. He's always been good for one, but can he be good for three? Not even a single kill. Counter paranoia as well. Do they recognize where it came from? No, they're gonna spot Mind Freak a little too late, and their crosser is shaken up by the boom bot as well. Double kill for Jing. The answer back from the door from something as well. The backup is there for Paper X. Now a 3v2, but of course the battle still 2v2 as Forsaken awaits the approach on the A side. It's a pretty good read now for Gen G moving towards C. Seeing if they can get it, but of course, as is tradition, Paper X not letting go of those W keys and just going to keep right at their heels, right behind them. Now Lakia's watching it. Is he gonna be able to get it? Nope, no. that's spiked down too. Spike not down. quick enough, See. and Munchkin, he's afraid of the flank now, and recognizing that they're pushing him from behind. You gotta be afraid of where's Forsaken coming from, because surely it's going to be a pinch and a wide swing. Something's been loving those. Set up stunned. Oh, they he's got him. Trying to creep forward, but it's just not enough, and something clears that. And Gen G, they wanted to rotate back. They wanted to plant something and see, but now they'll have to just start to walk in and clear all these traps. They have no idea where Forsaken might be. They're creeping forward. They thankfully will clear out the Cypher. And now taking over the site, it's gonna be a quick surround by Paper Rex. Revolving door and something now from Defender Spawn as well. Trying to clear the angles. He draws the sight of one, and that's gonna be the cue for the rest of the team to start pinching it forward. Divide trying to draw aggro, but he goes down. Now. A 2v2, Gen G, can they win the duels? It's going to be Munchkin who wins one. Now a 2v1, Mind Freak, he gets one. 
trying Goal. to get the second, the spray down, not quite landing. Model let them in tree, and so far Paper X succeeds just a bit. Divide trying to bounce back and forth, he gets sighted Goal. first, and Texture with a nice flick back around, he clears the entire site on his own, alongside his trusty Boombot. And that should be a quick round for Gen G as they look forward to a sixth round win. Only two members left alive, Paper X, Bulldog, and Vandal in hand. Yeah, gonna have to be a save now to be enough for Paper X as we do see the spray coming in through the smoke. Nobody close. He's seven clear the second trip, but it's going to be something that draws the aggro first. We're seeking good for a double. Jinx still alive on the site. Something trying to bounce back out as Jinx flies more of a texture. He's just going in through aim training as all these targets fly at him. 1v2, can he get the cloach? He's already been spotted. He's going to plant Ten with the help of the paint shells. One Finds one, remaining. doesn't have time though. He has to stick the plant. Will he have it? He stops it. Divai knows, and he goes oh! for the peak. Texter with the ace. Genji, this time, going to be taking mountain control over the TP in the back. Paranoia out, but he's not going to land the shot. Divai will stop it, and that should stop the advance from Paper X entirely as Jing will slow things down just enough for something. He's thinking about peeking out of this revolving door. Off of the guiding light as well. To find any, you know, he found a little bit of damage on Hector, maybe. <laughs> Okay, Meteor. All right, Meteor. Ooh. He's definitely had to play Jing a couple times before, oh but Charon goes down. So much damage done. Texture took a big chunk earlier as well. Now you wonder, is it even worth pushing for this Odin? They're going to try to draw that aggro over to the B side. This is all set up for Texture. If he can get a kill, they can immediately rotate back as well. But it's just going to be the neural theft, and Texture knows there's no way out. You have to push the B side. The post plant, they'll have to worry about that afterwards. As he will look to push everyone out. The pit used for one side. Texture takes over heaven. The rest all choosing to stay inside the pit. So Texture's going to have to buy a lot of time before the retake happens. This is tricky for PRX because there's no money left for Forsaken. Tags one with the cam. Make sure that they don't approach and that buys him just enough time to try to get away. Still no audio and he has no idea that the rope's been taken. Busy with the reload on the Odin. Mind Freak takes over drop. Spike already planted though, and Gen G set up for the post plant. Texture with a bit of a curveball, the wild card. Something might have seen him because he catches the barrel, oh. chases him down, and immediately swivels for a second headshot. And now it's just going to be Meteor and Munchkin. 2v2, but the health not on their side. Nano Swarm, buying time. The second one has to be launched right away. It's a lot of time bought. They couldn't clear it in time. Half not done. Now switching up that position, trying One to push it. Remaining. They actually just get it with the spray, and if Munchkin can't get it, it's going to be Meteor, who's just buying time. Still enough for Mind Freak. He tries to turn away. And then working the map nicely. Here we go, fast hit. Now out the oh, open and just right through the screen for Texture to pick up a triple. Paper Rex, they tried to adjust, and Mind Freak's holding on for dear life. If he gets a third, it's a totally different story. Now a 1v2 for Forsaken. Can he do it when Paper Rex needs it most? The setup all the way on C site, but the lurk from Meteor, it's faster than Forsaken might expect. He has no idea, and it's going to be the kill. 12-11. Forsaken, does he look for a timing? He creeps in, he hears the Cypher Keys, but that's just bait from Munchkin. The absolute 200 IQ play baits out the Cypher Jing, trades for something. But they've already lost quite a few. Divide trying to clear the site. Spike still not planted. The showstopper will have to be used by Texture to make sure they left. have enough time. 3v2 for Gen G. Munchkin holding from afar by Rubble. Tries to cover their bases. The showstopper sent to cover drop. Now Spike planted. Yeah. Mind Freak, does he use the Cox screen against them? The smoke to see if there's a peak, but not quite just yet. Drop gonna be filled up by Jing. It's going to be a pinch from Paper X. Mind Freak's creeping up, but the barrel shows as Lakia turns his head. Texture gets the kill onto Jing, and Mind Freak knows he has to get it, but not in time. And the IGL of Gen G will close out an insane 13-11 map. It should be very good against the double flash of the Gecko KO as you still won't be able to fire through all the angles. Something just going to get a blind kill through the smoke. That'll dwindle down to numbers and a lurk already in action by Divai. We'll keep our eye on that on the middle of the map as he's already cycled all the way through, but the wingman's still going. That snake bite ain't taking away little bro anytime soon. And we've seen this too many times for it to happen again. Hey, with Texture and Meteor. So we'll see what ideas they have. It's going to be a high pop flash from the KO. Texture just throwing out the paranoia to buy more time. 
Allows him to reposition a little bit. Something with the hard dive in. With the dash, but Munchkin already there from behind the side. And Texture gets another with the Outlaw. Mind Freak's already close with the Stinger. And he's going to be able to kill Texture. Not able to stabilize in the smoke. Spike planted. And the spike will be planted. It's surrounded by the walls. Lakia finds the scope of one. Mind Freak going down. And Jing all alone. Stinger in hand. Judge and Bulldog to work with for Gen G. It's going to be the Dizzy that's used to clear away from heaven. Now creeping in from Charon. The Judge actually gets the kill from about medium range from down below. Close, he gets spotted by the dash. He's uh, gonna have to buy time as Munchkin will take out one of the paranoia for support, but it's going to be Paper X that just absolutely overwhelmed Gen G. So he will go for another plant. This time, no Sage left alive, so no wall to block off the lines of sight. Meteor takes advantage of the long range, picks off the Viper. Oh, forces away something, but the Nano Swarm is ready for the trade as well. Forsaken eventually wins out, but that gives time for Gen G. The rest of the forces to push through. The Thrash will clear out all the areas, finds him, and he is detained. And forget any sort of disrespect, they will just be going for the defuse. Lakia push forward. The Dizzy tags him as well. They're ready for belt push, but Texture not able to get the kill just yet. So down to four members, four rifles for Genji. A dash in, but something he's been surrounded. Lakia tries to push him, but something's just waiting for that opportunity. And that allows the rest of Paper Rice to try to swarm the site. Munchkin and Meteor holding true in the back of site, trying to isolate the 1v1s, but they can't get in. The Note Command will just go down at the back. Kara not able to res as Munchkin eventually gets taken out. A 3v1, Kara the rookie star, quiet in the first map. Can he find an opening in the second? Gets pinged, uses that against him, isolates one. Ready for another, goes for the repeat, but can't find Forsaken already waiting wide away. The Nana Swarms and the Null Command comes through though, so it's not gonna be allowing the Killjoy to hold onto the site any longer. Meteor actually backs out just to hold an angle, sees the gun barrel. The spike will get planted, but it's going to be Genji who already has so much space and a numbers advantage, 4v3. Now the alarm bot goes off. They know that they're still bouncing around the entry from green into the site. Yellow not cleared yet for Gen G. All of them grouped up. The paranoia goes all the way through. Should have hit something, but they can't find him right around the edge just yet. And Meteor, he's still running and gunning when he swings around. Something will barely get that kill with 28 HP. The snake bite clears it right at the end at the pit, but it's right up against the wall. The spike should be easy to spam through. Little bro tries to go for it, and Lakia swings out to assist the little bro, and it's going to be Wingman. So you're a real big piece of this puzzle. Well, Never as you mind. see that, the cast of Chris strikes, and he'll go down without much of a fight. And Paper X now have control of this site, but Meteor trying to defend his own lockdown with his life. Can anyone get here to make sure that it's going to be Paper X trapped into this texture? Oh. Will clear the enemies, but something pushes out just in time. Kitchen taken over by Devi. And Texture, it's too many angles for him to try to clear with an operator, but he's still gonna go for it. Already posted up in Snowman. Doesn't catch something up top. Doesn't catch anybody else up top either, and Devi will swing out on a timing. Utility for backup, and Lakia trying to make sure he goes for the anti-flash. They actually just don't check it up top. Munchkin draws the aggro first, and it's going to be three members down on the side of Paper X. Gen G only taking damage on the side of their Gecko. So that takes away the Thrash, but it's going to be enough for the rest of Gen G. You know, with Jin coming back into the roster, Karan, oh, oh boy. It's gonna be a lot, and they check the corner, but not quickly enough as Karan gets two, and that should be enough to slow things down. Paranoia keeps Jing at bay. Lakia already under tube. Wingman clearing close, but Texture goes down from afar. Mind Freak will equalize the numbers. Meteor picks right up where Texture left off. And Jing has to heal. They should be aware. The resurrection comes in, and Divi tries to go for the trade, but it's a double stack. Lakia, Munchkin. Last time it was the defenders who were able to get this, but it's a much faster retake attempt here. Paper X already finding one. Munchkin down the trade from Mind Freak as well. Yeah, the flank coming in very fast. Genji wasn't quite ready for that. They were peeking out, but it seems that they were a little bit caught off guard. But a good angle from Texture. He'll still alive with 27 HP. Let's see if that's the deal breaker as Charon swinging around. He finds one. Lakia's going to pick up the kill. Goes for the trade there, and Jing, everyone solo. Mind Freak's actually gonna pick up the headshot onto two. Lakia and Karan goes down. Texture, still at 27 HP. Devi at 89, oh my he gets God. spotted up top. Texture, hear the drop, but he can't land the headshot as there's a slight ramp down. And Devi will get the kill and the defuse. Key positions, are they gonna be accounted Ooh. for? He gets hit through the, the 
great, yeah. yeah, the great of that fence. Just barely stays alive. Had to go for the left clicks as the right clicks also would have just hit the great as well, but it's going to be Mind Freak. Swings out, well aware of the lurk in from Meteor. And Wingman not even gonna get the plan, and it looks like Gen G perhaps losing a lot of that value. Texture will pick up a kill. Mind Freak not quite aware of Charon's position. Nice to regain a bit of an angle. Texture gets another at long range around the point of that. It's a swing out from Karen. He waited so patiently, and he's able to try to hold control of the site. And Texture with three on the Sheriff. Flash drives at the ready, so is the frag. When the Toxic screen comes down, they were waiting for this moment. Whoop. Divide picks off one, and Gen G, they might have to reconsider things as Wingman will go in for the plant. But is that just enough? No luck, you can't get the spray down through the Toxic screen. Something will pick off the kill. Now, Nana Swarms at the ready, but Paper X, they're ready to push things out. It's going to be the Cloud Burst, try to draw out a reaction. There's the Sage Wall, they have to break that quickly, but the swing up the wide swing, something once again, the Crosshair Magnet works its magic, and that's all the time for Zinga needs. The Tain onto Mind Freak, oh, he has no help. Yeah, they're trying to chase through with the Shrouded Step as well, and Texture barely lands in time to get that kill. Mind Freak, all he could do was turn around and crawl away for his life, crying for help. But help was too far. Now Mosh up the ready. So is the paranoia. It's a brutal trade, though. Two for two. Now from the shadows. They recognize that everyone is here. Meteor already through tube. Does he sense anyone right under him? Don't think they would have heard him just yet. It's going to be. I look at the positions. I mean, Lockyer holding oh, no. way deep in attacker spawn. Clearance of all the utility makes him think twice about this one. The paranoia to allow Texture to dive in with the Shroud of Step. He's already under, but he gets spotted. The slow orb keeps him tied up. Oh. He will go for the trade for Singh with a quick double and another from Devai and Jing each. Oh, it's the wall love. I've been waiting for something like this. Paper X, there is never just a clean game of Sage. It's always something tricky, and it's just a push out across the entire map. This Gen G just dropped like flies all near their spawn, never able to leave home. As Gen G, they will still relentlessly try to go forward with this wingman getting spammed through the wall. He cannot finish the plan. The lockdown already committed from Gen G, but Paper X has slowed down the onslaught. And Gen G, they will have to recover the spike and still battle through this retake along with a lockdown, a potential no command. Everything in the arsenal, Paper Rex, and it's going to be the classic aggro draw. As Forsaken gets the trade, swings out for a third, and he goes for a fourth, and that is Paper Rex taking over the lead. With all this extra money, but you don't need it when you're that good. Yeah, might have even heard that one. Texture trying to scout it out, but something just too good on the swing. And now the flash used from Forsaken to try to put extra pressure onto Garage. Gen G has to keep clearing all of that. Meteor tries to take it upon himself to open the map a bit further in mid, but it's not there, so they continue pushing. Green, something still here. Whiffs on that first shot, not able to stabilize. Now a 2v3 for Gen G. You've still got the thrash. Now it's all up to Wingman. The swing off of the flash drive. Jing not able to stop the plant. This might be the best chance that Gen G has had. The drop, the old quite check for him. Lockia looking for another. Can he get a second? Oh, and it's going to be Jing and Forsaken. The swing out, they're trying to make sure that Gen G dumps all their util before they have to do anything. Forsaken trying to go for a long range trade, but it's going to be Gen G who still just wins out in the numbers, more angles covered. The smoke eventually dissipates. There is the jump up onto the wall. Malakia eventually gets the spike down. Welcome now something trying to join Jing in the verticality as we see a from the shadows from texture. Lands all the way behind Paper Rex, and they have to jump into the smokes as Lockyer sprays down for two. It's all up to something, and with the Blade Storm, it's going to be so tough to try to clear this Viper's pit. Skirts around, and Charon to help disrupt any type of plant. The no command coming out, but it's not going to be catching the Killjoy just yet. Forsaken takes down the KO, and Mind Freak just trying to drag this fight out as long as possible. A wide swing from Texture, but Jin gets yet another kill. It's going to be the long range hold from something. And now it's all down to Texture as Jin takes him down. 13 to 11 once again. But on the other side is Paper Rex from something, the High Dizzy along with the Trailblazer. It's just their own two comp oh, right yeah. now. And that draws all the aggro as Mind Freak's able to sneak out from his own smoke. He's now just holding Evan. They know that people are missing. He's just trying to buy time as everyone's missing their right clicks. But Munchkin will finally land the shot. Something trying to hold on to the site. And of course, eventually it is just going to be. Now Gen G. They're gonna wait for that high tide. Oh, and Device is waiting for it. Sight's trained. 
gets Lockyer off the rip. Texture not gonna get tagged by it, but Paper X well aware that Genji has not moved an inch. Just cutting audio, Texture now been spotted. He has to pick up the tempo, the rest of the team has to come through. The Thrash is going to tag a bunch of people and Jin's gonna go for the cleanup as Texture just has to hide himself in hopes that he can recover the round. But will they get the clear? It has to be a double swing. Munchkin and Meteor, they were so good on map two, but they isolated to the 1v1s and something swings out for the second. Munchkin and Meteor shut down, Thrash used to continue pushing out. And now they all group up. They don't want to let the fights get into the advantage of Gen G, the TP as well, as they look to protect the spike. Run down the clock, Lakia. A nice peek out against the operator, but still so many more to go. Mind Freak's position unknown to Gen G as he creeps on the rotate. I'm expecting Jing to blast out of here at some point. <laughs> Just to try to deal with him, but he's going to hold the position on top of the box. He's not spotted. Finally, they get left. an inkling of where he's at. They did pick up the spike, but they all oh, run right. in. And Texture spike barely getting away with his life, but he's got 20 oh. seconds. And Jin somehow. The Seekers as well. Oh, the Bosch timing's very good. Forces him to have to clear it out from afar. And Divide will get one. Something he's stuck behind the box. Can he stay alive? Just trying to land it. And there, it's going to be a kill on to Jing from Kara. But Mind Freak's already way past as he goes for a triple. Oh, Jing peeks out right as the Poison Cloud lands. Wants to get ahead of it before it blooms. And this has been a recurring theme even since Icebox. Paper X knows that Gen G, if they're able to clear the site where they're util, they are near and unstoppable. Wants to get one step ahead. Take the tempo back as an advantage for Paper X. Now, audio cut, and Caron will use that advantage to get the angle he wants against Jing, but they haven't quite cleared something from atop the box. And it's going to be Forsaken again with another kill. Meteor with the trade. Something spotted, Caron swings back out, regaining some of that confidence that we saw from the rookie. Over at Madrid, over during kickoff. 2v2, Mind Freak puts Caron back in his place, and Meteor will swing around, but he can't land the shot! And the whiffs are starting to come in from Gen G as they are getting shaken up. They haven't had a tough map like this in a long time. Just to buy time. This is just to allow them to make sure they regroup, but Defy somehow gets to spam through the wall, gets the kill onto the sky. The Showstopper won't find him just yet. And now, Gen G playing with numbers down. Something will have to hit the trip eventually. But during all of that, Paper X setting up. And look at this. Odin Spam comes through once again, forces him away from backside. Gen G, they're not quite sure where to hold for post plan. Oh and there's the guiding light. It draws their crosses away for the anti and for taking swings with it. There's a high tide. Now all down to Karen to try to hold on into the site as his teammates are busy with the flanks. Karen gets one. Meanwhile, the Dizzy pushes Meteor away. Munchkin with a trade, but he goes down. Meteor holding off of Forsaken's there. Just a little bit. They've already tried to clear Uka. They take a headshot, but it's going to be an answer right back from Munchkin. So texture low, but something down as Gen G leads five to four in numbers. Texture lands right outside of that link all the way to defender spot. Now they'll get the spike down. They have the orbital strike. They've got the tools to finally get around, but the Cove comes in and tries to fill it again, but Forsaken's ready for it. One step ahead yet again. The Reckoning will tie up Lakia. It's going to be the Pop Flash. He'll be good for one. But it's going to be another Cascade. Vision now blurred away from Genji. Orbital Strike has to be used to buy time. The spray to ensure. It allows Devai to close the gap. 2v3 for Paper X. Devai, can he get the kills he needs to protect his teammate? No, it's going to finally be. Not sure if he got spotted or not. Oh, that yeah, oh, he, gets spotted. he still gets one. That's the best that Genji could have hoped for. So now a one-for-one one trade. You heard all the TPs. Genji wants to plan here. They're trying to push the defender spawn, but the spike is already dropped by Lakia. He's caught unawares away from his teammates. There's the flash towards backside, and the showstopper will be the one to secure the kill. Texture noted as well. He's tied up now in a crossfire between four members of Paper Rex and Jin across the crosshairs. Gets the kill himself, and the <laughs> judge will not do anything. <laughs> In form, playing together, and Texture's trying to tear apart the link between those two. Jing now goes down. Gen G trying to take over the site, but they haven't quite cleared Hookah just yet. Something's still lurking around with the judge. He finds a site briefly of Meteor. Now just trying to keep him tied up. Something will continue to push away. Spike still not planted just yet. The site surrounded by Paper X. Spike planted. Something trying to throw a curveball, going all the way around B long, but Karan will swing out, get two. The rookie putting some numbers back on the board, trying to bring home just one more round, trying to keep the hope alive for Genji as all five remaining members will hold on to dear life here on the site. 
Last yeah, my freak standing. gets one through the spam, but it looks impossible. As cold as he can get, it's just too many targets. And Texture with three. And Charon has to make sure that he's not the one that's first spotted. Oh the snake fight has to be good, but it's a wide flash. swing out. But the flash actually gets everybody. Keeps Charon alive. He's going to be hit by the paint shells. Eventually has no exit. But time bought by Gen G. Paper X, do they go for a rotate or do they stick to their guns? They've noted multiple people in Hookah, but they're still not aware how many could actually be here on the B site. Now re-clearing main, only 30, 30 seconds. seconds if they were to TP away, they'd have to do it on a snap as they run into more members, and they're just looking to flood. The Dizzy goes down, the Trailblazer heads, but Munch gets good for the spam. The oh. pop flash, but Lockheed yeah, just continues. <laughs> giving them free control of showers. Munchkin fills it. Forsaken goes for a swing, and he actually wins the duel out. And that's the cue for Paper X to start pushing in. A long-range kill onto Heaven on Meteor as well. Texture, he's caught right in the middle of the site. He has to make sure that he clears his angles, but he can't. Hook, uh, Lamp's already taken over as well. And Paper X, they swarm the site. High tied out to secure even more. Jing pass it. Greeting for yet another kill. Wants to get close to that showstopper as soon as possible. Finds the angle. Notices it's Judge. So tough, so tough. Although Lakia just bypassing something there. The left side of the site taking over, waiting to see if there's a peek out, but Meteor not gonna fight the bait just yet. Just waiting for backup to arrive as Karen already goes down. Tags one, that gives Meteor the first kill. In showers, Lakia good to cover on lamps as well. Spike still not planted. It's going to be a rush to oh TP my. over. Munchkin's ready for it. They see the pings coming in from the neural depth. That's one, can he get the second? He wants to buy time. Cannot get the kills, but dwindles the numbers down. 3v2 for Gen G. Paper X double swing out from Hookah. They will continue to charge forward. They don't want to miss a single beat. Something actually gets one kill. Now a 2v1 on the site. Meteor has to come in for backup. They need to get this crossfire right now for Gen G. Lakia gets one. Dizzy noted, and something wants to isolate the angles, wants to group them together. He's going to go for the far wraparound. The spike planted for him an elbow. He'll wait to see if a push comes through. Gen G, not quite aware where he's exited. Neither of them checking elbow. He gets one, realizes he's not gonna get the transfer. Thrash at the ready, sends it on a timing. Doesn't matter if he's, oh, but he's gonna wait. Oh. Joe Silver on the box, and Meteor heads up play. Little piece of work there, opening trade, good for Meteor. Oh, there's the showstopper, can't get away from that though. This Meteor was trapped in back of sight. Now Chen Ji still trying to hold on to the back sight. They will have control of it for now. As Paper as they try to push through, but Texture and Munchkin are good with their shot. Something trades for one, but it's still a 3v2 advantage for Chen Ji. Now Showers control and back sight control for Chen Ji. They're gonna start to pressure onto the spike. The Molly already having gone down. Paper X, they will have to fight for this round. And my freak gets deep. Something tries to go for the trade, but Caron gets one, and Texture gets the other. And Gen G will start to try to string together a couple more rounds. Take it down, tries to clear the wingman. He actually gets it, goes for the blast back, stays alive. Whoa. That means so much, but eventually he gets wrapped around. Now the orbital strike with the pop oh my flash gosh. comes in, something able to stabilize the name before the cyber cage comes up. Lockie is here for backup. Now a 3v3, but weapons upgraded for Paper X. Spike will go down. Paper X get another lease in this round 18. Something spots the side of Munchkin on that jiggle. Munchkin as well goes for the check, but it's the spray down from Jing and Mind Freak. And now the IGL of Gen G all alone gets one, but can't get the second Mind Freak. It's going to be that Odin coming out just to pressure Gen G. Sure, a quick swing out, but not going to be able to pick up that weapon upgrade just yet. And that Odin is just mowing down Gen G. Devi letting them know that they will not push out ever again on this map as it's about I to end in the hands of Paper Rex. Seekers used, Lakia stuck in guard and he will get surrounded and Meteor is too far away. Lakia goes down, Meteor all alone with just a Gen G classic and a Stinger. Is it going to be enough against four members of Paper Rex? Would have to be a 180 flick of his lifetime to get this. He finds one, trying to spray down, but too much time. Forsaken swings out. And Paper X answer back.